Yeah, see, brother Bobby ain't killed her. OJ ain't killed her. Hell, Giant didn't do it. Giant was writing his book and printing it on CD. And that's a good book. Very good book. Helped your ass. That's right. You ain't in the cotton field that's no more. Right. Granted, you sold a few trophies. One or two. Yeah. Well, you got to pay me. <laughs> of course, I'm dead now. <laughs> but you're still very expensive. Oh, yeah. Even from beyond the grave, I'm very, very expensive. <laughs> but. Even though those motherfuckers were eating my peanut butter. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. Johnny had to cough for a second. His single cell anemia is acting up. <laughs> yes, even though those motherfuckers were eating my peanut butter, I did not kill them. No, that ain't right. I will admit I had a knife, but no, no way, I did not have a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to a different subject, Johnny. <laughs> OJ had a knife. And it was for whittling a stick that he'd been whittling since he was a young kid. And I did not whittle the stick into a spear and stab him with it. He didn't so do, don't even go don't there. I don't even think OJ could have done that. Because OJ's not that guy. He's the juice. One of the best football players of all time. How are you going to sit there? Yes, I'm the juice. The juice wishes he had some motherfucking peanut butter. <laughs> but but not, he does not wish he had it enough to kill for <laughs> Uh, OJ ain't trying to kill nobody with knives, nobody with peanut butter. He ain't trying to kill nobody. Uh, OJ is not now, a murderer. Now, I will admit, I have taken the peanut butter and put it on the roof of the dog's mouth because that's just funny. That's pretty funny. But it don't kill the dog. OJ would never kill his dog, like Michael Vick. I like dogs. They're much better than white women. I mean... <laughs> and and I, I'd like to get an amen from Brother Bob on that one. Oh, amen and testify. Testify. There you go. Josh said testify too. That's what you got to do. You got to testify. That's the right thing to do. Ain't that right, OJ? That's right, Johnny. Yeah, see, you know, many years have gone by since I've been dead now. <laughs> but not more years gone by since Nicole been dead. <laughs> Which we don't know what happened. It could have been anything. It could have been a grizzly bear for all we know. We weren't there. I, I'm standing on the fact that I think she stabbed herself. I think she stabbed herself all up. She yeah. wasn't right in the head. No, she, 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 she was, she was all fucked up. That's what Nicole did. All messed up. She had nothing in her head. Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. you okay. knew her better than me, but yeah, she you didn't kill her. No, no. <laughs> but she wasn't right in the head. <laughs> no. Her and Michael Jackson were good friends. They were very good friends. Very good. Michael Jackson dead too. Another, he, another. He, he wasn't right either. Another proud black man though going yeah. down. So well, much more black much man, more white woman. About that one. Yeah, I mean, he was a black man. Now he's a white woman, dead white woman. But he had enough black that I'm much more upset about. Oh him. yeah, he had to have a black penis. You can't stick a nigga dick in a white woman and come out with two ha blonde haired blue eyed babies. It don't work like that. Come on, Michael, who you fooling? <laughs> you know, I heard that on a comedy skit once. Thought it was the funniest thing I ever heard. And uh, well. Still do. But see, the thing is, okay, I have been a lawyer for many, many years. Not so much no more. Because, hell, OJ pays my rent. <laughs> OJ bought my casket. OJ bought my car. OJ put my kids through grass ca you know, my grandkids through college. That's the OJ thing. You know, I really appreciate OJ for doing that, you know. Of course, you know, OJ's done some time in jail lately for uh, something he didn't do, too. I wish I was oh, here to defend him. Yeah, I didn't do that. Yeah, he didn't. had Johnny. Oh, he would have gotten off. You know, just because he busted in somebody's house with a gun, stealing his own shit back. Hey. I, I allegedly. Allegedly. Let's go with allegedly. Let's go with allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. And you know, he doesn't even own a gun. And it was the white man who said this. Okay? Who do you think that, who do you think. What I want to know is how did they know, don't, how come they don't know that that was my house? It was your own house. This son bitch has a deed to the house, but it might have been mine. It, yeah, nobody knows. Nobody knows whose house that was. How do I know that I didn't get into my own house and that some bitch is broken in and was sleeping in my bed? And what, that's happened to you before. And you might have been <laughs> eating my fucking peanut butter. You never know. All you wanted was your damn football bag. Hell, you signed it. Not like you couldn't have just signed another one. But okay. <laughs> you know, you just had to take your shit back. That's what you yes, I signed it. You remember when you were a little kid? Something's yours, you put your name on it? Same thing. Uh-huh. Yeah. How they going to take it? I mean, you know, it's the white man. It's a conspiracy with the white man. You know, Johnny's not racist, but man, he can't not stand the white man. Not at all. Except, except Brother Bob. 
Oh, test it fine. You know, no offense there, man. I'm just getting a little worked up here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I understand. You know, just most of the white man I know try to steal my shit. <laughs> brother, brother Bob over here, I am a white man, <coughs> but I do not embrace it. Yeah, I don't embrace your whiteness either. <laughs> I do not embrace it. I, I have actually found myself coloring myself with a black magic marker. I'm sorry, Brother Bob. I understand your pain. I understand. Right now, it looks like three of your fingers are black. And I really respect this. I'm working on it, Johnny. It, it, you know, the more you invest in the Marks a Lot Corporation, the more you will be closer to being well, a proud black man. It's not as easy as like it was for Michael. Bleach don't work. <laughs> no. And if you jump in the red and dye yourself black, it don't look right. You look gray. It don't look right. It's not the same. And but I, I feel I, your pain. I can tan the shit out of myself. And I just look like a Mexican now. And I'm not a big fan of that either. You do sort of look Mexican here, but the Bob. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't tan yourself? Where'd you get the tan at? <laughs> I got him on that one. He ain't gonna say where he was. Ah, see, John got him on that one. Yeah, no, Brother Bob's gonna say the fire depths of hell on that one. Because nah, Brother Bob never would go there. That's not Brother Bob's thing. <laughs> Brother Bob is a religious man. He's very religious. And that's why Johnny follows the sermon of Brother Bob. Ain't that right, OJ? That's right, Johnny. <laughs> you know, Johnny has been suffering for many years by the oppression of the white man. But not Brother Bob. Brother, Brother Bob is one of the few people in this world that understand that religion is very, very close to blackness. It's close. It's close. It's not the same thing, but it's pretty close. That's uh, one of the steps in the book. That's one of the steps in the program. Learn it from Brother Bob, but you're going to have to figure out which step it is by buying either my uh, audio CD or my 12 step recovery program pamphlet, which I just drew with a crayon. Oh, no, I mean, uh, oh, well, OJ drew it in blood. Never mind about <laughs> what OJ did. OJ did not sign this in blood. They never had the blood. Don't worry about what I did. You know? Hey, if you want an autographed, you know, footprint of OJ, <laughs> it, 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 I guarantee it ain't, that's tomato sauce. That ain't, that, that, it ain't nobody's blood. I'm a big fan of tomato sauce. <laughs> OJ just prances around tomato sauce when he's not busy. As, as people see him with a knife and tomato sauce. He just doesn't like tomatoes. I'm just not good with a can opener. <laughs> yeah. That's why I got the knife. It has nothing to do with Nicole. Nothing to do with chopping her up in a million zim bits. No. It didn't happen like I that. I would never do that. Nah. I don't know why anybody would accuse you of doing that. I have no idea. I never even met her, bitch. <laughs> you never even seen her walking down the motherfucker street. Never even met